Hello and welcome to the Complete Beginner's Guide for the Apple Watch. My name is Alric Heck, and in this video I'll be showing you everything you need to know to become an Apple Watch expert overnight. We've got everything about the Apple Watch, from changing your watch face to make it customized to your preferences, and even all the way to looking at all the different features that are available within the Apple Watch, such as your stopwatch, timer, music, messages, and even their convenient health and exercise settings which allows you to quickly track your exercise, heart rate, and more. We'll be covering all of this in this extensive video designed for the complete beginner to become an Apple Watch expert. Now if you want to skip a section or quickly go to a section, you can use our contents list in the description below. That shows you all of the different chapters with their names and links to that part of the video. Without further ado, let's get started and turn you into an Apple Watch expert. First, we're going to show you how to connect your Apple Watch to your iPhone. If you've already done this, you may skip on to the next chapter. Alright, so first off you want to make sure that you have an iPhone running iOS 8.2 or later. For these demonstration purposes, I'm using my old iPhone 5S. However, you can of course use your iPhone 6, 6 Plus, or even 5. Now, make sure that you have the Apple Watch application installed on your phone. It should have auto-installed with the latest iOS update. Now, if you do not have the app, go into the settings, Go to General, Software Update, and make sure you're up to date. If not, you can download and install the latest iOS software right from this screen by clicking Download and Install. It will take a little while, so we recommend plugging it into your charger while that happens. Alright, so the next step is to go into your Apple Watch and press and hold the side button right here. So this is the side button, just press and hold, and as you can see, you will see the Apple logo pop up while it's turning on. Once done, you'll be greeted by a screen that asks you to select your language. Choose your language, and then to start pairing, pick up your iPhone and swipe up to access the control center. Once you're in the control center, make sure you turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. After you've done that, go into the Apple Watch app and click on Start Pairing. Now you want to click on Start Pairing on your Apple Watch. You're going to use the camera to locate your Apple Watch to instantly and easily pair your Apple Watch to your iPhone. Click Setup as Apple Watch. Now you're going to choose on which wrist do you wear the Apple Watch. Choose left or right depending on what your personal preference is. And it will calibrate and set up the Apple Watch according to that preference. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions by clicking agree. And then you are going to enter your Apple ID password. We'll come right back once I've done that. Now you're going to select whether or not you want to turn on location services. Now this is very important. Just click OK. Siri, click OK. Diagnostics, do you want to send automatically diagnostics from your Apple Watch. You can choose OK or no. So I'm going to choose automatically send and I'm going to click OK. Now you can actually add an Apple Watch passcode from this screen. To create a passcode, click create passcode, but that will require a passcode on your Apple Watch. For the video purposes, I'm not going to use a passcode, but you can of course always go back and change the settings, which we'll show you later on in the video. Now install available applications. You're going to want to hit install all if you have a lot of applications that are functional with the Apple Watch. I'm going to use choose later for now because I'll show you how to download the apps later on in the tutorial. And the Apple Watch is currently syncing and it'll notify you once you are ready. We're going to skip past this part. Once it completes your Apple Watch is ready to go. All right, let's continue on to the next chapter so you can learn the basics of the Apple Watch. When the Apple Watch is completely powered off, to turn the Apple Watch on, you need only press and hold the side button. 
to see the Apple logo, which will inform you the Apple Watch is turning on. To completely power off your Apple Watch, you need only press and hold the side button, followed by sliding the power off toggle. To turn on your Apple Watch when it's asleep, all you need to do is bring it up close to your face. Or if that doesn't work, say it's in a different position, you can just tap to also wake up the Apple Watch. Now to put the Apple Watch to sleep, you need only drop your wrist down, and you can't see it really well, but as you can see, the Apple Watch is turned off. Now we're going to talk about some of the different components of the Apple Watch. Of course, we have the display in the front, but we also have something very unique on the side here. This is the Apple Watch Digital Crown. Now this allows you to scroll and zoom in using the little slider on the side. It acts kind of similarly to a regular watch knob. Now in addition to that, there is a home button that you can press. This acts as the normal home button that you might have used on your iPhone. So here's how this works. The home button, just by pressing the front, will allow you to go all the way back to your main area where you'll see all of the different app icons. You can also press it again to enter back into the clock face. Now a single tap will enter you in and out of your application view and your clock face. A double tap will send you to the previous application that was open, in my case settings. Double tap again, go back to the app prior to that. Now you can actually press and hold to activate Siri, like so. The side button also does some very important things on your Apple Watch. One press of the side button will bring up your favorites, so you can scroll through them in order to contact them individually. So say you have one favorite you wanted to contact, just press on them and you can actually give them a call message or you can actually send your heartbeat or other pictures if they have an Apple Watch as well. You can exit out of there using our home button. Now if we double tap we can access Apple Pay. I don't have any cards set up right now but we'll show you how to do that later on in the tutorial. And then of course pressing and holding will bring up the menu that allow you to power off your device. You can hit cancel to cancel that action. One more thing to note the Apple Watch doesn't just respond to regular touches and taps. It also responds to something called force touch, which is when you press and hold more firmly on the screen. This allows you to access a whole different settings menu. So just something to look out for when we talk about it later on in the tutorial. You have a speaker, microphone, and of course the heart rate sensor, which will monitor your heart rate while you're doing exercises. You can also take off the bands using these little buttons at the top and bottom. So all you have to do is press in on the little button and just pull the band out from side to side, like so. And as you can see, the band comes right out and you can of course slide it back in. You can do the same thing with the other band and it locks right into place. So just press the button and slide right out. The Apple Watch is a very unique charging port. What this allows you to do is take this Apple Watch charging terminal and just stick it on the back of the Apple Watch. Now the other end is going to allow you to connect it to your regular wall mount, right like so. And as you can see, you can plug this right into the wall to charge your Apple Watch easily. You can of course just take off the magnetic strip or put it back on with ease. It's that easy to charge your Apple Watch. Now we're going to show you some important features and settings for the Apple Watch. As you can see, you can access the Apple Watch home screen just by pressing once on the digital crown. Now to move around the home screen, you need only press and hold your finger to swipe around. Just move your finger around and you can see the different applications that are available. To open it up an app, just tap on the application. For instance, this is the email app and I can quickly read some of my emails. To go back, Press the digital crown. To enter the previously entered app, just double click the digital crown to go right back to that app before. Now to rearrange your app icons, all you need to do is press and hold on one of the app icons, at which point you can pick up the app icon and move it around. So if you want to have your mail application a little bit closer to your clock, you just need only to pick up the mail application and bring it over to a spot 
right next to the clock. So as you can see, I'm able to easily and more quickly access mail like I would normally want to, right there. You can also more easily adjust your home screen on your watch by going into the My Watch application, clicking on App Layout, pressing and holding, and then moving around the different icons. This will instantly affect your Apple Watch, and it's that easy and simple to do from either your watch itself or your phone. In order to adjust the brightness and settings, you're going to want to go into the settings application and then you're going to scroll down to brightness and text size. This allows you to increase the brightness, there are three different notches, or decrease the brightness. I like to keep mine on the medium setting in general. You can also change the text size here. If you'd like it a little bit bigger, that might make it easier to read. Or you can have it smaller so you can add more text on each page. You can also add bold text, which is a cool feature if you want something a little bit easier to read. Also in the settings, you can adjust the sound and haptics. Now, the sound you can adjust whether you would like it to be loud or softer. You can also mute the device so that it only taps you when it receives a notification. You can scroll down to see the haptics to see how hard it will actually tap on you. You can adjust that to see what kind of tap you like on your wrist. To access Do Not Disturb, Airplane Mode, Mute, and Ping Your iPhone, all you have to do is swipe up and then scroll to the left until you see the Connected tab. This is going to allow you to turn on and off your Do Not Disturb, which makes sure you receive or don't receive notifications on your Apple Watch. You can also turn on airplane mode if necessary, but give it a little bit of time to connect once you turn it back off. You can also turn off sound, but that will keep your haptic on. The haptic is what taps you. So to completely turn both sound and haptic off, you can select the do not disturb. Now, say you lose your iPhone or you don't know where it is, you're in a rush, just push this button and it's gonna instantly ping your iPhone. Really simple to find your iPhone. You could do it as many times as you need. From the same glances menu, which is the list of different quick view applications, you can swipe over to see your current battery life. As you can see, we have 66% remaining. Now there's something really cool called power reserve. Now, Power Reserve is great for reserving your battery when the battery is low. Now, it's going to continue to display the time, but all of the other apps will not be available to use. Now, to access this mode, which is very convenient if you're starting to go low on battery, but you still want to have your watch face, all you have to do is press and hold on the side button, like so. Then you're going to swipe to enter Power Reserve. From Power Reserve, it's only going to show you the time, and that is it. That will reserve a lot of battery, but it also means you can't access anything else, even from here. The only way to get back everything is to completely restart your Apple Watch, because as you can see, if you turn it on or tap it, all it's going to do is show that. Now, to get back to all of your other settings, you have to completely restart the Apple Watch. Unfortunately, you cannot access anything else other than just restarting the watch. As you can see, once that restarts, it brings you right back to your normal Apple Watch functionality. Now we're going to show you how to customize your watch face on your Apple Watch. To customize, all you have to do is press and hold using the force touch. Now, there are a few presets which you can either customize, use as they are, or you can even create your own. So as you can see, we have Utility, Modular, Simple, Motion, skipped over one, Astronomy, Color, Solar, Chronograph, Mickey, and Extra Large. You can also create your own watch face in here as well. 
Now, for this purpose, we're going to show you how to create your own. But of course, you can choose one of these watch faces or even customize it however you like. So we're going to click on New, and we're going to choose what type of watch face we want. We can use the digital crown to select the watch face. Now, I like the utility, so I'm going to click Utility. From that, I can hit Customize. As you can see, I'm first able to customize the detail. So how much detail do we have? Do we have no numbers? Do we have a lot of numbers? Do we have even the different seconds listed as well in minutes? Or we can take down all the detail away. It's that easy with the simple digital crown. So I like all the numbers but no minutes. So that's good. I'm going to swipe over to the next. Now we can change the color. So you can choose uh, what type of color you would like for the minute hand. So as you can see, we do have uh, our standard red, we have a gray, we have an orange. I like the orange color, so we're going to do that. Swipe over. Now we can choose what we would like uh, to display for the date. So as you can see, um, I'm going to have Friday the 15th. And then that is what you need to do for that. And you can choose over here up at the top what you want at the top left. So you can actually swipe through. So let's start it off. We have off, there will be nothing there. You could have the date there, we already have the date. You can have a calendar. You could have the moon phase, sunrise, sunset, the weather, activity. You can have an alarm that you have, a timer that you have, a stopwatch. You could even have the battery if you want to have the battery listed there. You can also show a world clock in different locations. And those are all of the different options that you have. I'm going to have the battery because I like to be able to see what the battery is. We go over here, you have the same options. So I definitely think the weather looks pretty good at this side. At the bottom, instead of the calendar, and actually this is really cool because you can have uh, even more spelled out words, so uh, the larger words at the bottom. So let's scroll through here, let's see. Uh, the weather actually has a lot more, so I think I'm going to keep the partly cloudy weather up at the top here, and for this one, I'm going to change it to my activity. Now, when I start using the health applications, I'll be able to quickly see what my current activity is from there. So once you're done, all you have to do is press the home button, and then your watch face is completely customized when you click on it. As you can see, I now have a custom watch face the way I want it. This is what the standard utility watch looks like. Next we have the modular watch. As you can see, that's what it's going to look like. I just want to give you guys a little view so you can uh, decide what you want. The simple watch is going to look like that. Now of course you can customize some of the different areas on it, but this is just the base what Apple comes with. Motion is going to have a pretty cool butterfly in the background. We have astronomy, which I definitely like this one. It's pretty cool. Color, and in the customization, you can of course change the color of this watch. Solar, which shows where the sun is at that current point in time. Chronograph, which has a lot of different features all built into one. Mickey, so you can have Mickey Mouse show up as well if you want. And extra large if you are uh, somebody who is a minimalist, you just want the extra large to show up here, this is good for you as well. And of course, like we showed you before, you can create your own, like the utility that I created. It's completely up to you and there are so many possibilities with the Apple Watch. When you have a red dot at the top of your Apple Watch screen, that means that you have unread notifications. Now, if you had instantly gotten those notifications, you'd be able to see them right on the screen within about a minute of receiving them. However, if you wait a certain period of time, they'll appear as a red dot. All you have to do is swipe downwards, like so, so that you can read all of the different messages that you just received. As you can see, Tristan just sent me a message, want to grab a bite later. Now to deal with this message, just click on it. So you can read the message, and you can either dismiss or reply. To reply, just click on reply, 
and it'll actually come up with quick and easy responses based on what it thinks the text is saying. So I can just click yes. I can send a smiley face, or I can even dictate text for Siri to send for me. It's that simple and easy. Let's go back in here. Sure, I'll drop by later. Hit done. And you can actually either send it as audio or text. I like what the text says, so I'll just click on the text right there. And off it goes. Emails also show up in the notification section as well. As you can see, you can just click on it to read it instantly. Now this notification is that Ebates sent me $50 via PayPal. Now if you aren't familiar with Ebates, it's a great service that lets you earn instant cash back and rebates on all of your online purchases. Now we're going to take a quick break to look at Ebates because they're actually today's video sponsor. We'll be right back after the quick break, but I really think you'll benefit from Ebates. They even have their own iPhone app that works very well. We'll be right back after the break. To start, go to bit.ly slash appfindebates. Make sure you use that exact URL. You can see it on the screen or look in the link in the description. Since you used my URL, you'll get access to an exclusive gift card bonus, either $10 Macy's, Walmart, Target, Kohl's, or $5 in PayPal cash or a check. Now, you can join using your email or you can conveniently sign up through Facebook. Now, what does Ebates let you do? Well, Ebates gives you instant cash back on purchases you would make online anyways. As you can see here, you get 16% cash back on over 150 different stores. Yes, that includes Amazon and eBay. So as you can see, here's our example, American Eagle. You get 16% cash back and you even have access to exclusive coupon codes as well. Now 16% cash back means if you spend $100, you get $16 back. That's amazing. As you can see, it'll bring you right to the website where you can make your purchases as you normally would. Once you're done, you'll instantly get your cash back in your Ebates account for 16% cash back. Now, to get the referral award at the beginning that you saw with a $10 gift card or $5 in cash, all you need to do is spend at least $25 on one of your regular sites you would have purchased from anyways. It's that easy and that simple with Ebates. If you're not using Ebates, you're leaving money on the table. Ebates can help save you money and find you great coupons and discounts you wouldn't otherwise have access to. And it's that easy to sign up at bit.ly slash appfindebates for a free $10 gift card or $5 in instant cash once you just purchase $25 through Ebates. It's a great service. I highly recommend it. All right, back to the Apple Watch Complete Beginner's Guide. All right, we're back. Be sure to check out Ebates. It's a great service, and I use it to earn money every month. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit more about all of the different glances you can access. So the first glance that we have is the one we explained earlier, which will let you turn on your airplane, do not disturb, uh, or even sound settings. We're going to turn do not disturb on right now because we don't want uh, anybody disturbing us while we're making this video. You can swipe over and access the music settings. Here you can play, pause, go forward or backward on your music, and even increase or decrease the volume. You can play music that's on your iPhone or even music saved locally to your Apple Watch. Swipe over again and you can see your heart rate. Now you can see what our battery life is. You can also instantly go into power reserve from this screen as well. The next glance is your activity app. We'll show you how to set that up a little bit later on in the video. Next we have our events. So I don't have anything tomorrow or today. Then we have our weather which is going to show you what the current weather is like in your town or city. Swipe over again, you have access to the stocks. Swipe over again, and you have access to maps. We're not going to load that because we don't want to show you exactly where we are. Swipe again, and you can actually see world time. You can choose different world times to show using your Apple Watch app application on your iPhone. 
And those are all of the different glances that we have. You can, of course, swipe back up to access your main lock screen. Now we're gonna talk about our alarms, timer, world clock, and stopwatch. Let's go over to our alarms. As you can see, I don't currently have any alarms. I can tap and hold firmly to bring up the new menu, click new, and I can draft a brand new alarm. Now this works very similarly to your alarms on your iPhone. You get to select the time, whether or not it repeats, whether or not uh, your, what your label is, and whether or not you allow you, yourself to snooze. You can turn this off so you don't even have the ability to snooze, which is a good feature if you know that you're one of those people that just hits the snooze button instantly whenever you wake up. Once you've done that, you can add the alarm and you're good to go. It'll set the alarm off right here on your Apple Watch. Let's exit out for now. Next, we're gonna show you your timer application. Let's go over and click on timer. Now what this is gonna allow us to do is set a timer for however long we'd like. We can choose the minutes, say we want five minutes, just hit start and the timer will start. Now note, the timer will actually keep counting down when you exit out and go back to your main clock view. Another cool feature is that you can actually include the timer at the top right. If you press and hold, click customize, and say we wanted to change uh, the battery settings, instead of having the battery, we can just use the the digital crown to go all the way back to our current timer. Make sure that's all set, exit back out, go back in, and now we can see our timer at the top left. Next, we're gonna turn off that timer and then show you how you can use your world clock feature. Now the world clock's all the way over here with the world clock icon. Right now it currently has Cupertino and New York set. You can choose different world clocks to show on your iPhone. We'll show you how to do that later on. And finally, we have our stopwatch functionality. Now there are a lot of great stopwatches in here. If you press and hold, you can choose an analog, digital, graph, or hybrid. We're gonna keep it on analog for now. Start, stop, you can even add laps. It's that easy and simple. It is a great stopwatch application. Now let's talk about how to use messages on the Apple Watch. Tap on the messages icon. As you can see here, you can see your most recent messages and you can tap on that to see the conversa conversation. Now if you want to reply, just scroll down click reply and send another uh, message. You can even send some different emojis that you would like. Now we actually have cool animated emojis as well. So you wanna send an animated emoji, just click send and there you go, you're ready to go. It's that easy and simple to send either animated emojis or text using the Apple Watch. You can send text, you can even add uh, using Siri. So let's actually Hit done on that, <laughs> hit cancel on that one, let's redo it, reply. Yeah, let's definitely hang out later. You can actually send it either as audio or as text, like so. If you wanna send a new message, just press and hold using force touch. Then click new message, you can choose your contact, create the message, and then send it very easily. That's how to use messages on your Apple Watch. Email on the Apple Watch is a breeze. Just click on the mail application and you can go right into your emails. Now you can click on an email to read it and read a brief blurb of your email. Now unfortunately, you do need to reply to the emails using your phone. However, there's a really cool feature available here. If you have an email open on your smartwatch, your Apple Watch that is, you're gonna go over to your phone and in the left hand corner, the bottom left hand corner, swipe up. And once you input your passcode, you'll be brought directly to that email. This is called hands off and it is a great feature available on the Apple Watch. So let's bring back up the Apple Watch over here. We're still in the email, we can go back. 
Now you can scroll through all of your different emails and if you want to, you can actually swipe left to archive. Now I'm not going to do that right now. Now you can also open up other emails. You can press and hold to flag as important, mark as unread, or even archive. Of course you can press outside of it if you don't want to. As you can see, it's very easy and simple to use your email on your Apple Watch. Handling calls in the Apple Watch is very easy to do. We're going to wait for a call to come in, then we'll show you what to do. When you get a call that comes into your Apple Watch, as you can see, you can see who is calling. You can either deny the call, accept the call, or scroll down. You can send a message or even answer on your iPhone. If you click answer on your iPhone, it'll hit hold and you can answer it directly on your iPhone. Now over here, we're going to be able to answer it. Hello? Hello. I'm actually filming a video right now. Can I call you back later? Yeah. And that's all you got to do. As you can see, the Apple Watch is great at allowing you to quickly answer phone calls, especially when you're out and about on a run or in an area where it's a little bit difficult to whip out your phone. The Apple Watch makes keeping track of your events a breeze. If you go into the main home screen, you can scroll over to the calendar section. Now this is going to show you all of the different events that you have for any given day. Now I actually have uh, a site that I like to get some stock images from, no it's not a promotion, uh, Pond5, and I have that set up for um, I think it's every week or so whenever they come out with their new free stock, uh, stock files. So whatever you happen to have on your calendar, it'll show you what you currently have for that day. Now another cool feature is you can actually include your calendar directly on your watch itself by pressing and holding, customizing, and then choosing the calendar option. So if you use the digital crown, you can go to the calendar and see what is next. Now that actually already occurred so there's nothing left on my calendar. However, it's really cool to see if you do have a different appointment uh, or something that's very important. Now another thing to note is there are no reminders currently on the Apple Watch. However, you will still get the notification in the notification center if you have a reminder that needs to come on, but there is no, noti there is no reminders application directly on the watch itself. One of the main reasons people get an Apple Watch is to use the health and fitness tracker. Now to activate this, swipe up and go over to the glance that has set up the activity app and click right there. Now it's going to tell you a little bit about activities and their three daily goals. So stand, stand for at least one minute of every hour. Move, hit your personal calorie burn goal by moving more. And exercise, accumulate 30 minutes of activity at or above a brisk walk. Stand, move, exercise. So you're going to hit get started and you're going to fill out this little quick profile. We'll be right back once I've done that for myself. Once you hit continue, you'll be able to tell the Apple Watch how active you are on average. So once it's completely set up, you're going to be able to see your different activity. You're standing. You're going to be able to see the different calorie burn goals, um, such as moving and exercise. Now if you swipe over, you can see how many calories you've burned, you can see how many minutes of exercise you have, and how long you've been standing, the amount of standing in the past 12 hours. Now you can also monitor this using your Apple Watch application on your phone as well. Now if we exit out here, you can also see there's a smaller version at the top right, which is why I like to keep this on my Apple Watch screen. Again, you can just tap and hold with the, uh, the force touch to customize that and add it to your watch face. The workout app allows you to manage individual workout sessions. So as you can see, you can choose outdoor walk, outdoor run, cycle, indoor walk, one cycle, elliptical. So whatever you choose, you can set your calorie goal, you can set the time, and then you can start. So you can actually start your exercises using the movement application.
To set up Passbook and Apple Pay on your Apple Watch, you're going to go, need to go over to your iPhone. Now, go to My Watch and then Passbook and Apple Pay. So as you can see here, you can either set up your own credit card or you can have it mirror your iPhone. Now you can add different credit cards or debit cards from the screen to make sure that it's set up with the easy Apple Pay on your phone, on your, your Apple Watch that is. Now to access Apple Pay when you're in a store, just double tap and then it'll access Apple Pay so you can contactlessly pay for your different purchases at select stores. Now to access your passbook, go into the home screen and then you're going to go over to the Passbook application. As you can see, we just got to swipe over to the Passbook, click on that, and then you can see all of the different cards or passes that you have in the Passbook application. In the Apple Watch Maps application, you're able to zoom in and out using the digital crown, like so. You can also press and hold in order to search for nearby locations. Or you can view your contacts to use Find My Friends to see where they currently are so you can go and hang with them later. You can of course use the location settings on the left to actually access your location to show you exactly where you currently are. From here you can also find directions and you can send directions over to your iPhone. Now we'll take a look at some other default applications. The first is music. Now in music, you're gonna be able to see you're currently playing songs, artists, albums. Uh, you can actually even store songs on your Apple Watch if you'd like. Now we'll show you how to do that a little later on when we get more in depth on some of the settings. Now, right now you can actually stream music over to your, either your Apple Watch or even play it on other sound systems that you have hooked up. Next, we have remote control. Remote control allows you to instantly control either your computer, where you can actually control iTunes, or you can control your Apple TV to change the channel or go and search for different things. Photos application lets you view different photos that you have. You can use the digital crown to look at them and zoom in. Stocks lets you see all of the different stocks uh, in your area. You can, of course, change those on your Apple Watch app. Your weather application is going to allow you to see the current weather in your area, which is very convenient and easy. And those are all of the basic stock applications included in the Apple Watch. Now we're going to show you how to download third-party apps onto your Apple Watch. So you're going to want to take your iPhone, right, and go over to the Apple Watch application. Now you can go over to search to search for different apps or you can view featured applications. These are all of the best applications to download. Now we're actually coming out with a video very soon on the best Apple Watch applications. So stay tuned on this channel. Be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with the latest applications and more. So let's say we wanted to get Twitter. Make sure that you've already purchased Twitter and have Twitter downloaded. Once you've already done that, you can go back to the My Watch category, scroll down until you find Twitter listed as one of the applications that is compatible. Select Show on Apple Watch. And that will actually install it directly onto your Apple Watch. As you can see, Twitter is installing. And now I can open up Twitter right here on my Apple Watch very easily and efficiently. So I can view the top trends and more. That is how to download the applications. Now to delete the applications, you'll scroll over, press and hold, and then you're actually going to be able to get an X like so. Click on that X and choose delete app. Now please note, if you delete the application, it will still stay 
on your iPhone unless you separately delete it. And you can always re-add it by going into Show App on Apple Watch. Alternatively, you can delete it by deselecting this option as well. Now another cool feature, now this is amazing, it is the Glances feature. So if you want to show Twitter in glances, and you can choose the glance type, so recent tweet or top trend, we're going to keep top trend for now. Now, when I go into my normal glances, right, I'm in the normal watch face, swipe up, now I have a Twitter glance. So I can swipe by all of my different glances, and now Twitter is one of those glances as well. That's how to install and delete applications on the Apple Watch, and how to add their easy-to-use glance as well. We already showed you Ebates, which is the amazing application that lets you earn instant rebates whenever you shop online. But what about when you're shopping in grocery stores? Well, our second and last sponsor for the episode is Ibotta. Now, Ibotta is currently only an iPhone application. However, if you're watching this, that means you have to have an iPhone to use the Apple Watch. And this is very convenient and easy to use. I've used Ibotta to earn literally hundreds of dollars back on my weekly grocery shopping visits. So if you go into Ibotta, what it allows you to do is get instant rebates and cash back on purchases. Now, there are a lot of great purchases. As you can see, French's tomato ketchup and classic yellow mustard combo, $2 back instantly. All you have to do is watch a quick 30 second video, learn a little uh, recipe, which is cool. It adds an additional recipe as well. Look at this. Read a recipe, hit learn to unlock, and there you go. You've got a dollar in your bank account. You add, uh, watch a video, you watch a quick video. All you got to do is purchase these two items and then scan the receipt. And there you go. You've got $2 back instantly. Now, there's a lot of great products. Glad Food Wrap, Juicy Juice. There's even any brand deals. Now, these are really cool. How often do you buy milk? Probably a lot. So there are a ton of different stores to choose from. So let's just say Walmart for right now. Milk, one gallon, any brand, you can get 20, 30 cents, not 20, 30 cents back. All you have to do is watch a couple of quick videos and whatever the brand, you just verify the product barcode and you're good to go. You've got 30 cents added to your account. It's very easy, there are a lot of deals and just to show you it works, look at my current balance. $46.25 for just a couple weeks of work. And I can instantly cash out to PayPal. It's that easy and simple. You know what? Let's just turn off our Do Not Disturb. I'm going to cash out right now and show you how fast I get my instant rebate. So I do have to uh, choose the amount. Let's see. It is, I think I have $46.25. Yep, 4625, transfer cash. Now I'm gonna input my password, so we'll be right back after I do that. All right, so I'm covering up the password here and I'm hitting submit, and it is making the payment. Now I should get a notification when I get that payment. So as you can see, it says transfer successful. I've gotten $46.25 just by downloading easy rebates. $2 for ketchup and mustard. Things you're gonna be buying anyways at all of your favorite stores. There is just so many great ways to earn. And the any brands are really easy to use. There we go, Ibotta, PayPal transfer confirmed. In just a couple of seconds, I should get an email from PayPal. As you can see, I just got a notification that $46.25 was deposited right into my PayPal. If you look at the times, you can verify that. I got it in as little as two minutes. We did have to skip a little bit. We don't want to make you uh, guys bored. But two minutes later, I got my money. It's that quick, that easy. It's Ibotta. And it is really taking the App Store by storm. People love saving money, especially when it's this easy. Now, all I ask is when you sign up, use my referral code IKEW. That's IKEW. It's right here on the screen. It's in the description. Now, this is going to give you access to special bonuses, 
So I'm going to issue you a challenge as we end our Ibotta promotion. I issue you the challenge to use the one gallon white milk any brand promotion. If you don't use any other promotion in the app, use this one right now. Download the application and put IKEW. Next time you go to the grocery store, just watch a couple videos on here. Now they're only like 15 seconds each. Verify the barcode on any brand of milk, any brand. And then you're good to go. You have 30 cents in your account. And I guarantee you after that you'll be hooked and earning a lot of money on Ibotta. So we're going to briefly talk about the friends feature on your Apple Watch. This is when you hit the side button and you can view all of your favorites. Now the way to do this, and you can have up to 12, is these are all of your favorites in your normal phone. So it's very easy to set up. All you have to do is go to your phone, contacts, click on their contact, scroll down and choose add to favorites. Then they'll show up here. Now on here, you're going to be able to call them send them a message, or if they have an Apple Watch, send them your heartbeat or a little emoji, which would be right in the center. It's really cool and really easy to use, and I love being able to quickly access some of my best friends or favorite people that I need to contact. We already briefly touched upon the hands-off feature, but I wanted to show it to you one more time to make sure that you completely understood how it works and that it works on multiple applications. So you can access this through notifications or different apps as well. So let's just say we wanted to go into our uh, health application. Now we can access hands-off if our phone is currently off. We can pull our phone up over here. As you can see, in the bottom left-hand corner, I can swipe up enter my touch ID and it'll bring me right into the activity tracker very easily. Now the way that works is whatever you have open on your watch you'll be able to instantly use hands off to open it up on your phone. Using Siri on your phone is as simple as pressing and holding the digital crown button and asking Siri to do something. For instance, you can ask Siri something like, what kind of things can I ask you? This will actually show you a list of the different things that you can ask Siri. This is a great way to realize what you're able to ask them. Remember, when you're scrolling, you can use the digital crown as well. As you can see, there are a lot of different things you can ask Siri on the Apple Watch. Finally, we're going to show you a very brief video on the settings. These are all of the settings you can change on your iPhone itself. Now you're going to open up the Apple Watch application and let's walk you through everything. First, we have My Watch, which is going to show you all of the different settings on the Apple Watch itself. Now, Explore has a couple of different videos by Apple, but we thank you for checking out our video because we believe that we are the ultimate source for everything in one video. Now, be sure to share this video with your friends and like it if you've enjoyed it. Just have to make my quick plug, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, go over to Featured. This is going to show you some of the featured applications you can download. Or Search, you can search individual applications. Now, remember, you do have to install them from over here. And AppFind has our new Apple Watch Best Applications video coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. All right, so first off, we do have our app layout. As we showed you before, you can just pick up and move all of the different uh, icons wherever you'd like them to be. Airplane mode allows you to uh, mirror your phone in terms of airplane mode on here. Apple Watch itself will tell you a little bit about your Apple Watch and will allow you to unpair it if you'd like to pair it with a different device instead. Notifications allow you to show uh, whether or not you want the notifications indicator, which is the red dot at the top. Notifications privacy will make sure that there's not as many details. And you can see different notifications for different applications. So you can actually choose for the activity what notifications you want to see. You can go into all of these applications and uh, turn on and off their various uh, notifications. So as you can see, there are different applications for all of our regular apps. I have a lot, uh, but you can turn these on or off depending on whether or not you want a notification on your Apple Watch. 
Next we have glances. Now this is going to show you all of the different glances that you have. You can also see glances from different applications that are compatible with the Apple Watch. You just have to hit plus and add those to your Apple Watch as well. Do Not Disturb will allow you to mirror your iPhone in Do Not Disturb. Now General is going to allow you to do a software update uh, when one comes out. Automatic Downloads, you want to automatically download your applications that are compatible with your Apple Watch. This is up to you, whatever choice you want to make. Watch Orientation, left or right wrist. Accessibility is going to allow you to see voiceover, zoom, grayscale, bold text. Uh, reduced motion means it's not going to move around as much. Uh, you can actually reduce the transparency, turn on and off labels, uh, change the uh, the mono audible uh, audio, I mean, and accessibility shortcuts so you can view all those different things. Language and region, you can send your uh, or change your language, change your region. Apple ID, you can change that. Whether or not you want to enable hand off, hand off is when you're able to open up whatever you're using on your Apple Watch on your iPhone. Wrist detection is when it uh, detects if you have it up like that and when you have it down. Now you can also activate uh, on wrist raise. Now this is a pretty cool functionality. You can actually have it resume the previous app or show the watch face. I like show the watch face, but if you want to have it open on the previous app, you can choose that instead. That's a cool function that you need to know about. And in the usage, it'll show you how much uh, everything is using, what your storage is and then reset will allow you to reset the watch itself. Brightness and text size, you can change that from here as well. Sound and haptics, same thing we talked about before. Passcode, you can turn that on and set up a passcode for your Apple Watch if you'd like. Health will allow you to input your different information. Privacy is gonna allow you to, uh, whether or not you track everything, Apple tracks everything. Now down here, you'll be able to uh, activate different things in regards to your activity, calendar, clock, contacts, friends, mail, maps, all of the different applications, their settings are all available down here as well. So those are all of the main settings. You can of course look at each app and each of them have their own individual settings. Thank you guys for watching this video on the Apple Watch. Hopefully this video made you more of an expert on how to use your brand new Apple Watch. There are so many possibilities and so many amazing things you can do with your watch and hopefully we showed some of these in this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below and I'm sure someone from the AppFind community would love to help. Also, like this video and subscribe. If you guys learned something today, we've got a lot of great content on this channel, including the best applications for the Apple Watch, which is coming very soon. Now we also recommend sharing this video with your friends so they can learn how to use their Apple Watch as well. And download Ebates and Ibotta if you get the chance so you can save a little money, either grocery shopping or when you're shopping online. Hopefully this showed you everything you need to know about the Apple Watch. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.